And then you've got your email message uh, sent with the forms. So most of the time these days, when you send out your, your information forms, usually like the invoice is the most common one, you might have a message that's gonna send out by default when you email it out. So instead of mailing it, we've got the email. It says use greeting, dear versus, so you could you know say two if you want, or have it blank and then full name, or you can choose whatever method you want to address them as company name, first name, last name, or so on. And then, and it should pull that information in from the customer data that we enter when we add customers, which we'll do in a future presentation. This is for an invoice. The estimate is another form that you might provide, say, uh, to a customer. If you have a system where you're using estimates, the credit memo kind of reverses a sale. So hopefully we don't have to use that too often. The sales receipt is something that you might provide at the point of sale less common to present it to the client because it might be an internal form, but it might be an external form as well that you give to the client. And then the statements are the things that you create uh, periodically to, 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 to summarize all the invoices that might be outstanding. So if they haven't paid you, for example, uh, re and then the refund receipts. So these are th items that you might give to the client. Here's the default message for each of them. So, so here we've got the invoice, uh, the subject line, and then we appreciate your business. Please find your invoice uh, details here. And then of course, it'll give an attachment of the invoice. So you can customize this message if you so choose for the invoice, for the estimate, please find your estimate details, so on. For the credit memo, your credit memo is attached and so on. And then the sales receipt, please have your save the sales receipt below. And then your statements, your statement is attached. Please remit payment at your earliest convenience. And then you've got the attached of the statements, which is like a summary of all the stuff that's outstanding. And then down here, you've got your estimates and and uh, uh, email me a copy. So you could have them email you a copy and then and then 